Hey guys, it's Lori and it's time for week three roundup. Yes. So let's see how I'm doing. So just like I've been doing for my last couple of roundups, week one and week two roundup, I just started typing. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to sit here with my script and just read from my script. But I'm going to ad lib a little bit in there too. So, but I am going to read to you what I typed out just because why not? So week three is normally the week that I'm really feeling the weight loss, feeling more energetic. And week three has not disappointed. I'm feeling slimmer and I have tons of energy. So that's awesome. And I'm also not getting heartburn every day, if at all, which is a real huge plus. That's a definitely a plus. Okay. So I did type out something about the heartburn. Where am I here? Because I've just kind of been gabbing. Week three is also the week that I am ready to be done. And I am on the countdown right now. Yes, I am. I did end the week with a gain. Not surprising because I am averaging a little bit higher than usual this round. And again, I will put my stats at the end, including my current weight, just so you know. And I'll also put in any food clips that I might have. Although I'm not really sure if I have any, to be honest, because I've just kind of been eating the same stuff. And it feels weird just to keep taking pictures or video clips of the same exact thing all the time like the burger patties the grilled chicken salads boiled eggs uh like snacking on carrots you know that's pretty much what we've been having oh actually there is a clip of something different that we had that's right but that's going to be in a separate video because i made it like a cooking video you, you won't want to miss that one either because it's pretty good and it's not just for hcg either it's for anybody you can have it for for hcg you can have it just doing low carb or keto or just for whenever it doesn't matter you don't have to be on any kind of diet but i am so unorganized with my videos right now like i have a bunch of clips that i've recorded and they're just kind of all jumbled up together and i really need to get in there and sort that out and get things edited and get them put out because I want to share this stuff. That's why I recorded it in the first place. But my plan is, the plan is to get more regular throughout the week with posting videos. Because I mean, I do record them. I just, sometimes I just say, I don't feel like figuring these out and sorting out all these clips that I have. But anyway, so let's get back to the update. Okay. The end of week three is also day 21. And that's the minimum amount of days that you should do on an HDG round. So technically I could be done now. So like I mentioned, the very beginning of this round, men typically lose a pound a day and women typically lose half pound a day. So right now I should be with all that in mind, I should be at a half pound a day. And in the past that has always been the case for me. So with that being said, this time I am above average. I'm at 0.7 a day as opposed to 0.5 a day. I know that doesn't seem like much, but it kind of is because in past rounds, I've always been at that half pound a day mark, no matter if my round is 21 days or 30 days or 40 days, however long it is, I'm always at that half pound a day mark. It's crazy how it works out that way, but it always does. So I am above average right now. So that gain, it's like, eh, what are you gonna do? I kind of expected it, but... I mean, you don't really expect, oh, today I'm going to gain, <laughs> you know, but I expect to see some gains and some, some stalling maybe. But anyway, let's get back to this. Okay. Now that I'm complaining, it just makes me wonder what's going to happen in the next nine days. Yes, nine days. So I'm doing nine more very low calorie days with injections. And on that ninth day, that'll be my last injection. Then I have to go 72 hours and still stay on protocol while the HCG is coming out of my system. Then... 12 days from now, I'm going to be in the next phase, phase three. Yes. The low carb phase where I can start adding in some more like cheese and butter and yeah, more like keto ish. I was kind of planning on reading you like what I had typed out here, but I'm just kind of talking about it. I'm actually following along pretty close. So yeah. So phase three, the low carb phase will take me through most of the month of May. And then after that, I can start adding in some carbs and see what I can eat in terms of carbs and still maintain my weight. Yes. So that's why it's important for me to continue weighing daily if I want to see what foods might cause me weight gain. And I'm thinking it would be nice to continue to kind of do kind of like a weekly check-in on how I'm coming along just because it would really help me. And hopefully it would help somebody else too. I hope. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to keep doing the weekly check-in at least for a while. And that's the plan. The boys. Yes. My boys as in our three adult boys and the teenage boy as well 
have been super supportive of me and John during this round. They've been taking it upon themselves to get their own dinner, whether it's to order out, go pick up something for themselves, order DoorDash. Josh and Chase have both picked up pizza for everyone a couple of times. And just like I figured too, um, Chase has kind of been making sure Hayden's taken care of. He just does. I mean, I've never asked him to, he just does. Oh yeah, he also made some pancake muffins for like a brunch, I guess, for everybody, except for me and John, of course. But yeah, he just made them uh, over the weekend. He made them and he also made his corn dog muffins. Like I talked about them, or I mentioned them at least in one of my grocery hauls. It was like a shop with me. I got some corn muffin mix and I said, this is for Chase for a recipe he wants to make. And he did make those. And you know what? I have clips of that and I'm going to put that in right now. Chase is making his corn muffins with hot dogs today and he's upset because his hot dogs are falling over. Oh, Chase, another one fell over. <laughs> Look at these. Nice job, Chase. What are you gonna put on yours? Uh, maybe hot sauce. Maybe hot sauce? Oh. Mm. Yeah, this is a rough one because I want to eat these and I can't. Are you going to make me some when I can? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so as for the stats, like I said, the whole week of stats, my current weight, all that good stuff is going to be coming up in just a minute, so stay tuned. And yeah, I was up 0.8. I already told you guys that. Yeah, later in the week, there's going to be a video, maybe even tomorrow, with some shopping deals. I have like a shopping haul um, that I did just real quick. It's like a few things real quick that I'm showing you in the car because it's birthday month you know so I had to get some goodies but not for me anyway no soup for you in that video I'm also going to include some really super good deals that I got when I went shopping I went shopping with Braven a couple of days or I should say I had Braven a couple of days last week because Courtney took a class and uh so I kept Braven for a couple of days and we did a little shopping found some really good deals I think I actually mentioned that in that shopping video because like I said I've got clips already recorded so you'll hear that again <laughs> okay I think that's all I have typed out here I've kind of I said I was gonna read from this and kind of ad-lib but it's mostly just been all ad-libbing so yeah Anyway, yeah, that and stay tuned for that cooking video. And real quick, I want to mention this calendar. I showed you guys this calendar at the very beginning of my round. Here's my April, my May, which is going to be my low carb month. And by that, I mean strict, super strict low carb. Then into June, that's when I said I'm going to go right back into another round. And I said that. In the very beginning, like I said, well, I have reprinted this page because I actually reprinted them all just because it bugged me. I wanted to redo everything. I don't know why, but I did. So I reprinted this month of June and I had mentioned before that John and I are going to go on a little trip for a couple days in the middle of the month. So I'm like, well, I'm not sure I want to be on a round during that trip. In fact, I don't want to be on a round during that trip. So I'm still going to do the round, but I'm going to do a planned interruption, which is a thing. It's in the original protocol. So stay tuned for that coming up in June, a couple months from now. And yeah, I'm still going to do it. And you'll see me do a planned interruption during that round. And... Then I'm going to hop right back on. It's going to take me into July. So most of the month of July, I will be on the strict low carb once again, which is perfectly fine with me because that's pretty good eating, really. You can eat a lot of things. It can be fun. And I'm just going to mention that I just moved the milk that you could see right here. If anybody noticed, you could see a little bit of the milk laying there because I just recorded that shopping haul I was telling you about. But I came back home, got back to my hometown, and I thought, I'm gonna go sit by the pond and do this update really quick, this week round, week three roundup really quick. Well, it's kind of chilly, and it started to rain as soon as I got here, and now it's looking pretty, and it's getting to be blue skies, and it's still, the air's still a little chilly out here though, so I thought, uh, okay, so I'm just sitting in the car, and you can kind of see the pond back there a little bit. 
so there you go chicken and celery soup for dinner tonight for me and john and this time i decided to throw in some carrots just for fun i love this chicken and celery soup it's actually really satisfying and i throw in some tuna chicharrones too to spice it up just a little it's really good this is what I made for dinner for everybody but me and John, including Braven. We're doing pizza tonight because Braven loves pizza. So biscuit pizzas and some French bread pizza it is. Ah.